Hello, in this video we are going to talk about casting. Now I want to stress here that we're going to make up some pretty silly examples to help highlight what casting is. Um, and as we progress into more advanced topics we'll see where it is particularly useful. But I thought it was a good time to introduce it because you might come across it when you're doing some research on your own online. So let's make a new Python file. We're going to call it introduction to casting. And let's just set up a little bit of a ridiculous situation. So we're going to set x equal to 7 and we're going to set y equal to 8. And you're going to notice something here. Python will assume that x is an integer and it will assume that y is a string. And so if I try and do this, I'm going to get an error. And the reason why I'm going to get an error is because Python is going to look at this assignment statement and it's going to ignore the left hand side and evaluate the right hand side. And it's going to say the following. Oops, pardon me. It's going to say z is equal to an integer plus a string when it tries to look at types. And it's going to say it can't do this. So when I run this, I get an error. And it's really important to, to practice reading these, these error reports because they're going to help you solve your, solve your problems. And it tells you unsupported operands for plus, int, and string. It means you can't add an integer and a string together. Now here's the thing. I know for a fact that y is storing an integer value. So what if I really wanted that, that, that I wanted to add x and y? Let's imagine the situation where I knew that even though y is a string, it will definitely hold an integer value. So how do I solve that problem? I knew, let's put I know. <laughs> I know that even though y is a string, it will definitely hold an integer value. I want to add x and y. So let's figure out how to do that. We can do that by casting it. And we cast it simply by doing this. We write int and then we put whatever we want to force into an integer inside those brackets. So basically what it's doing, it says take whatever y is, trust me, it's an integer, it will work perfectly fine. So now if you run this, I don't have a problem. And let's just to see this, let's print out z just so we're clear on this. And there it is. Now, I could also do this. I can also cast to a string. So what, as long as the types are the same, I can, I can add them together because in Python, you can add strings together in any language. It's called concatenation. So what this is saying is the same. Take your x and add it to y, but force x into a string. So what do you think this will print to the screen? Take a second, pause, and then come back and hit play when you're ready to just have me run the program. It prints 78. The reason why this prints 78 is because the assignment statement right side is evaluated left to right. So the first thing that happens is step one, convert x into a string. Step two, add the strings x and y. And when we add strings together, we just put them together. That's it. So therefore, in step three, assign the value to w, 
we're going to get 78 because what it's going to do is it's going to give me 7 and then it's going to generate an 8. Last thing to point out, you can also cast the floats in the same way. So if I want to do something like this, I could do something like print. If I wanted to print out the float version of x, I could do float x. And so what this is going to do is it's first going to convert x into a float value and then print it to the screen. So what we're going to get is we're going to get 7.0. I hope this video helped, and as always, please feel free to ask any questions.